Now we have Nada, Nada Kassam on behalf of American University in Cairo. We build a prosperous, socially cohesive Armenia. A country that has been torn by civil war and conflict for 20 years. How can the Armenian people restore, con restore hope and trust in their government and country. An agile learning government is our starting point. It is a government that is transformative and effective. It is a government that is responsive and that does not plan rigidly. Because Armenia deserves to not be isolated from the world. Our main pillars for the sustainable reconstruction of Armenia are building tolerance, peace, and security, developing the environmental and social sustainability of Armenia, and fostering the country's economic growth. Building tolerance, peace, and security revolves around two main pillars, reviving the security of the country and building justice and reconciliation. In order to build a secure and safe environment in Armenia, we need to first control belligerence, counter terrorism. We need to establish a system that enforces the demobilization and disarmament of the people in Armenia. It is very important to develop legitimate and stable security institutions in the country. Justice and reconciliation are one of the most important features of Armenia's reconstruction plan. First, we need to necessarily start by community dialogue. In order to address the human cost of war, it is essential to start with a community dialogue with the people. Secondly, we need to reintegrate internally displaced people and immigrants, since the country is mainly composed of many internally displaced people and immigrants. Additionally, child soldier rehabilitation programs are essential in order to reinforce the children that have been affected by war. And it is crucial to establish an inclusive legal system and reinforce and consolidate the Armenian national identity. Our second pillar is environmental and social sustainability. First, we need to enforce social well-being in the country. So first of all, we start with, a, with an efficient healthcare system. We have to build advanced infrastructures and, pre and preventative and curative healthcare facilities. Secondly, we want to produce a resilient educational system that, that is focused on skill-based education and second, second chance education for people who have been affected by war. Because, because countries are mainly built of and developed by women, it is important to empower gender and to empower women. So first of all, we would start by the girls' education programs. These are key. And it is very important for women's voices to be heard, especially in the political process and arena. Finally, the economic integration of women is crucial. In order to build their skills, especially when it comes to entrepreneurship pro promotion and access to financial and non-financial services. Social protection is another issue that is very crucial for the development of the country's social well-being. Not only do we have to have universal health care, but we have to promote non-contributory and contributory social insurance schemes. Finally, in order to build on the untapped potential of the country's natural resources, it is crucial to focus on food security, especially supporting agricultural development and agribusinesses. Now turning to the environmental well-being of the country, water scarcity is one of the main issues that Armenia has to deal with. So you know, we, we thought of pr promoting the desalination and water efficiency technology in the country in order to prevent this issue from occurring. Moreover, we have to conserve, manage, and cultivate fish stocks, especially using common fishery regulations. It is also crucial to focus on sustainable renewable energy innovation systems and to prepare regulations for oil spill prevention and preparedness. Our third and last pillar is to create and to foster economic growth. This will first start by creating an enabling business environment that attracts foreign direct investment, that brings back and provides incentives for diaspora calibers, that fosters international trade relationships, and that supports small, micro, and medium enterprises. 
we will also have to make markets work for the poor and build skills through active labor market regulations. Finally, because, of the country, because our country is oil rich, we have to invest in oil refining industries and establish the straight Domotar Marine Services Zone. Okay, thank you. Okay.